Hello, my name is Peter Pears. I'm a partner in the capital markets department here at Mayor Brown here in London. Um, I focus on capital markets matters uh, and particularly sustainable finance and ESG regulation. Uh, the topic of today's uh, podcast is talking about the CSRD, so that's the European Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive, something that we're getting lots of questions on at the moment. Um, CSRD is a key feature of the EU Sustainable Finance Action Plan and creates detailed sustainability reporting requirements that will apply to a significant number of both EU and importantly, um, non-EU companies and substantially increase the scope of their mandatory sustainability reporting. Um, it's important to note that, that CSRD is something to pay attention to now because it's in force and for some companies will apply for reporting periods beginning on the 1st of January 2024. Um, a bit more about what needs to be reported. CSRD represents a bit of a step change in terms of sustainability reporting and, and does contain some really substantive provisions. So in scope companies will be required to consider disclosure of things like um, the company's business model, its strategy and sustainability risks and opportunities. ESG related targets and annual progress on meeting those targets, transition plans, measures taken to limit global warming in line with the Paris Agreement uh, and to achieve climate neutrality, exposure to coal, oil and gas related activities, um, the so-called double materiality perspective, so that's not only sustainability matters that affect the company, but also the impact of the company on sustainability matters, greenhouse gas emission targets, uh, policies in relation to sustainability, so that's things like incentive schemes that may be linked to sustainability matters, and for some EU taxonomy alignment data. Um, there's lots more additional detail in something called the ESRS, that's the European Sustainability Reporting Standards, and they include two cross-cutting standards, ESRS1 and ESRS2, that provide the general reporting concepts and overarching disclosure requirements, and then 10 additional topical standards with disclosure requirements for specific ESG matters. So um, how does this apply to non-EU companies given that it's uh, EU law? Well, scoping's complex, um, but the following non-EU companies will be required to report under CSRD. So first is those non-EU companies um, with securities listed on an EU regulated market. So for the avoidance of doubt, the CSRD doesn't apply, CSRD rather doesn't apply to securities listed on EU MTFs. Um, it doesn't apply to securities listed in the UK. And those non-EU companies that only have debt securities listed on a regulated market with a denomination of more than 100,000 euros of equivalent may also be considered out of scope of CSRD. Um, now, depending on the size of the company, um, CSRD will apply for financial years 2024 or 2025 in those circumstances. Um, in addition, non-EU parent companies of EU subsidiaries subsidiaries um, will also need to assess when and whether those subsidiaries fall within scope of the reporting requirements as well. So there are requirements for EU companies as well. And then finally, um, for non-EU companies with an annual net turnover of more than 150 million euros in the EU um, and which have a qualifying EU subsidiary or branch in the EU, um, they also need to comply with CSRD. There's a bit more time there that kicks in for financial years starting 2028. Um, there are also exemptions available for non-EU companies where the parent company complies with CSRD via consolidated group reports. And in time, we, we may see exemptions um, under equivalence regimes, so local or domestic sustainability reporting regimes deemed equivalent to the EU CSRD, although we don't really have a view or any indication of whether equivalence is going to happen at the moment. What else do you need to consider? Um, so interoperability with other sustainability reporting regimes, CSRD is not going to operate in a vacuum, so non-EU companies will need to comply with the sustainability reporting rules in their own jurisdiction, so there we could be talking about things like the SEC's proposed climate change disclosure rules um, or rules in other jurisdictions, and there are also international standards to consider. So at the same time as um, CSRD, um, international sustainability standards boards are developing their own standards, as many of you will know. 
Um, there is a level of interoperability between the two standards and some effort has been made to align the standards to some extent, but that's not complete alignment. So there is a kind of patchwork of standards for companies to, to comply with. How can we help? Um, it's clearly an important topic given that the focus on sustainability disclosure by regulators, by civil society, um, the increase in ESG litigation. So we're helping clients with scoping, um, the applicability of the rules, helping prepare the various internal teams that were brought in to provide the report, and of course the disclosures and the disclaimers themselves. Um, if you want to know more, there is um, lots more detail on our free writings and perspectives blog, also on our ION ESG blog. Um, we go into some of the detail um, about the scoping and the reporting requirements under CSRD. There, so there's plenty more there. Thanks.